We went a couple days ago and visited a brand new coffee shop that opened. Uh, it's called Misfit, and it's so fun to go the first week a new shop opens or a new restaurant opens or something and just experience what's going on. You can tell that all of the workers there, they're just exhausted. All of that work that they put in for months and months and months has kind of culminated in this new space, this new experience. And uh, it's, it's something very special to see the work that somebody's put in actually turn into something uh, kind of magical. There are things in life that we have to do and we typically label those things as work and there's things we love to do and we label those things as life. It's too, so easy to see those two things as competing forces. I think this ideal balance that people are looking for, uh, it just it simply does not exist and you're either going to be disappointed with how much you have to work or you're going to be disappointed by how little you accomplish. I mean, this last week was the Uptown Art Fair and it was an opportunity for artists to travel across the country and show their product and it rained on Saturday night and there were artists that slept the night in these little tents just making sure that their art doesn't get ruined. They didn't get to relax in their hotel room. They didn't get to watch TV. They didn't get to go to the brew pub with their friends. They had to work. It's so easy for us to be uh, so selfish and so entitled, but the reality is that nobody owes me anything and nobody owes you anything. There are lots of people in the world that have really amazing ambitions. They want to start a business, they want to plant a church, they want to write a book. These people have ambitions of doing great things. But oftentimes our ambitions of what we need to do, they don't match the way we live our life. I'm not saying that your goal in life can't be that you have hours and hours at the end of the day to spend at home on the couch with your dog. I'm not saying that that can't be your ambition, but if your ambition is something else yet you feel like you deserve hours at the end of the day on the couch with your dog, your ambition and your reality and your actions are not lining up and you're always going to be disappointed. You're always going to feel empty. You're never going to accomplish the things that you feel like you want to accomplish. Because making something, creating something, it requires work. These ideas of self-care, these ideas of having a work-life balance, these things are robbing us of achieving purpose in our lives. We hold ourselves back. Each of us need to decide what are our ambitions of life? What is our purpose? What are we supposed to do? And if our daily actions are not living up to those things, we need to change, we need to adjust.